Lithium by Nirvana. This is a power chord explosion, but it's really accessible. It's very repetitive. So once we've got the basics down, we can crack on and get you jamming along to the original recording. I'm in D standard tuning. So we're tuned down a whole step. So all the basic open chords still work in this tuning, but they're a whole step down, starting from the D note to a G note, etc. You'll want a channel switching amp or an overdrive pedal to be able to go from super clean to super heavy and be able to play this riff, which I'm gonna teach you straight away. Don't bore us, get to the chorus. Those chords are an E5 power chord, which we can play with one finger, the index finger, holding down the second fret at string four and five, and playing string six, five, and four. We then move that shape up to the fourth fret to play a G sharp five. Move this down a string, so we're now on four, six, six. And then the open A, Again, with one finger, it's just one down from uh, the E. So E5, fourth fret is G sharp five, C sharp five, and A5. And the five just meaning we're playing the root, the fifth, one, two, three, four, five. And the octave is just the one again. So that's why we call it a A5, for example. C5 is the third fret, root on string five. Fifth fret is to a D, B, back to D. And if you start off by doing two strums of each, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, that's a good way to work on your changes. Go at a pace that suits you. It's changing between particularly root six to root five. And one trick with that is just to try and slide your fingers across the strings as much as possible. And when we're changing along, try and slide them along kind of like a baby's ab abacus, you know, one of those things. Um, slide along is how we change. Slide as much as possible, rather than lifting your fingers off and then putting them back down again, because when you lift off, you lose control of the guitar. You want to stay as close as possible. And the slide is, is heard a little bit. True strumming pattern for the first two bars, down, down, up. Super easy, down, down, up per chord. Three, four. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then for the second two bars from C, it's down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. So for that second two bars, it was down, down, up, down, up, down. And you can, of course, hit these open strings in between chord and if you want to get more of that kind of sound. If that's how you prefer to change between power chords, that's cool as well. Or do more of the slidey thing. My amp settings look like this. This is from my Plexi amplifier, the Victory Sheriff 22. Gain all the way up, mid, down, and I've also got a booster pedal on the entire time because this amp doesn't go as heavy as we need on this song, but you want as much distortion as you can, a little bit mid-scooped. That gets you sounding like that. Without my Schaefer replica booster, it's like that, so it's not far off. And my overdrive pedal is pretty much just compressing it a little bit. Um, it's the ACDC pedal really, but it does Nirvana so well.
pretty much the same from the C chord. And before then, we have the same chords, but a bit of picking. We have the E5 power chord. We then hold back on pressing this down until beat one. We pick open string six again, but it's fret four. And it's just the third finger we hear. So pick six, six again at fret four, string five where it is already on this power chord. Similar thing again, we go six open. We're on the C power chord. Just a straight two, like double stop power chord really, just two strings. Bit different on the fourth chord, zero, five, seven, seven. So we do add the little finger on there, or you can play these power chords with a flat third finger, entirely up to you. But that is three, four. of chorus is going to give you that sound of the original and of course a little bit more up to speed one two three four really keeping this right hand still and just moving from the wrist really small movements if you're struggling with the picking make the movement smaller much smaller than the strumming and then we go into the chorus from that B chord. That's where I'd hit my overdrive pedal. Let's try that. Get ready on your uh, button with your foot. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Hit it. Let's do that again, but from the start of this clean riff foot already hovered over that pedal and you're ready to press it when we get to the B chord after C, D. It's on the B. Ready? Two, three, four. And hit it. The only other part to this song is the bridge. This is the heavy part, which goes from A chord to a C power chord, and then it goes to a C death chord, which is where we have a power chord, but the lower fifth as well. In context, death chord. Frankly, it could even be kind of a mistake that just made it to the record, but it sounds super cool. It's called a death chord. And in this part, we have a lot of open chords actually it really makes a feature of this this is down down up down down up down down up up off off so down up on the last two but it's just open strings in context all right so that is down down lift off on the a C, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, open strings. Two, three, four, down. And that ending of D and B, open, three, open on string six. That comes after eight repetitions of that. Let's have a playthrough of that together. Ready? One, two, three, four. Second repetition. Third. Five. 
seven. Eight, this is the last one. Then we go to D5. And we go to. That should give you enough to be able to play along to the record. I'll leave another couple of uh, videos on screen now that I think you might enjoy. If you need more help, there'll be a link to the Andy Guitar membership below where you can check out all my guitar courses for electric guitar, for acoustic guitar, and even a Nirvana player study where we go in depth on Kurt Cobain's unique guitar playing technique and the ideas that Nirvana brought to the fore. Hope you check that out. I'll see you over there. Bye-bye.